Good morning. 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 Good morning
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa, Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's first reading, St. Paul takes the Corinthians to task. He's a bit upset with them. He has preached the gospel. They have believed it. The church is growing there. But now there are some saying that there is no resurrection of the dead. Paul is quite upset by this. He makes it very clear to them that if there isn't, then our faith is in vain. Then Jesus did arise. It's all nothing. He said, but we know better than that. We have witnesses alive who saw the risen Jesus. We saw him die and rise. We know he rose, and he promised resurrection, new life to all of us who believe in him, that begins here, in baptism, in the life we live for Christ. At death, it takes a new form. Our souls are transformed to eternal life. At the end of time, even our bodies will be raised up and joined to our spirits. The fall is complete. So Paul says, stop this nonsense. Remember the life we have now, the life that those who have gone before us had, and what's waiting for us when our work is complete. And those who have gone before us, our relatives, neighbors, friends, are ahead of us but praying for us, watching over us and inspiring us by the example of their lives. Our task is to continue teaching and preaching and living the gospel of Jesus, as we saw in the gospel. Jesus is attracting followers, the apostles, the holy women. They're believing and they're witnessing to Christ. They will go out and witness his passion death and resurrection, and live his new life. Let's thank him for our new life, the life waiting for us, the life of those who have gone before us. Let's pray for the grace to go on in life as we gather today, and to go out and witness it in the simple things we do, because we believe in Jesus, risen from the dead. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For my intentions for today. If I mispronounce names, I apologize. I'm not familiar with all the names, but I'm just going to do my best. But the intentions are certainly there. And so we pray today for Tracy Van Dusen, Heather Megan Shepherd, Stefania Marciniak, and Frank Marciniak, and Paul J. Russo. And we bring all the intentions that you have brought from your hearts and minds and souls today. We present them here too as a Eucharist for Christ to receive. And bring to the Father. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth, the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. And Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of all the time sin. <coughs> And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Look with 
favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that we each has offered to the honor of your name, may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And with the of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ, who is our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all the share in his fullness. Who in the form of God he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, ascending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and to willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. <clears throat> Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ and be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Wherever, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Edward our Bishop, and all the clergy, and the entire people, your Son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a socially distant sign of peace. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. But I cannot, at this time, receive you sacramentally. Come to spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already here, and that myself wholly to you, never to be separated from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, Lord I am under my roof, but only say the word in my soul.
At the meeting a couple of days ago, um, where we looked at uh, eventually being able to come inside for our weekend masses, it was decided that uh, all ministries would be uh, ideally done electronically, even though it's during the week. So, if you want to be a, a reader or an altar server or uh, a sacristan, those opportunities are going to appear electronically. Uh, hopefully, uh, you'll get noticed by that in the mail uh, or or by email, I should say. Uh, but I'll try to update you as to when that is. In the meantime, we'll just get volunteers as we did this morning. So thank you very much. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things. And we feel the working of your mercy, grant that we serve you with all our heart. And we ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. The Mass be to God. Have a nice day and a nice weekend. Thank you.